This is the 60 second story about how one man's Mormon DNA donation led to a false murder accusation. In 2014, filmmaker Michael Usry was unexpectedly interrogated by police and accused of murder. He had no idea that the real reason for his questioning wasn't a hit and run, as police claimed, but a DNA sample provided by his father 15 years earlier for an LDS genealogical project. Usry's father had donated his DNA through a Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints program aimed at supporting the religious practices of baptism for the dead. But unknown to him, that data was eventually passed to a nonprofit, then a biotech foundation, and finally sold to Ancestry.com, the world's largest consumer DNA company. Now here's the deal. A partial match from a crime scene was found in the Ancestry database, leading police to Usri. Although he was eventually cleared by a DNA swab, the ordeal raised serious concerns about consent, privacy, and how religiously collected data became a tool of law enforcement. This all traces back to Utah billionaire James Lavoy Sorensen, a devout Mormon who funded one of the first large-scale DNA and genealogy projects in the 1990s. He partnered with BYU's Dr. Scott Woodward, nicknamed the Indiana Jones of DNA, to collect 100,000 global DNA samples, primarily from church members. These volunteers believed that their data would be only used for spiritual purposes, not for-profit science initiatives or police investigations. The database that Sorensen funded eventually became the Sorensen Molecular Genealogical Foundation and was quietly acquired by Ancestry.com in 2012. Later, it was accessed by Idaho police investigating a 1996 murder. And that's where Usri became a suspect because of familial DNA similarities to his father's sample. And this is the first known case where police used consumer genealogy data to try to solve a crime. And the ethics here, folks, they are murky. While some applaud using all tools to catch killers, others warn that this crosses the line of consent and religious trust. Now, even after being cleared as a suspect, Usri remains concerned about how his family's spiritual act turned into a police lead. And he's not alone. Critics warn that with companies like Blackstone, which acquired Ancestry for $5 billion in 2023, now owning this genetic gold mine, the future of privacy is uncertain. What started as a religious effort to unite families for eternity is now at the heart of the global DNA industry. And for Michael Usry, that transformation was deeply personal.